Good morning, everybody in Asia, or good evening on the continent of the United States here. All right, so finally I get to do a walking tour instead of sitting at home doing sports. Yeah. So, yeah, the weather is really beautiful. It's like, you know, like 68 degrees. So it's a little windy. So I was starting to get a little chilly already. So... That's one thing I'm really enjoying now that the weather that I really like right in the, you know, the late 60s and the 70s, you know, the joke, like it's a sizzling 70 degrees. So, yeah. All right. So I'm going to say hello to whoever showed up so far. And then we're going to get on the tour because there's a lot of ground to cover. And I might be really exhausted after this tour. All right, Thomas, good morning. Welcome. Carl, nice to see you. And Bama, hey, hey, yep, and Thomas is in the house. All right. So, yep, let's go cover a lot of ground. I'm going to change this settings. Let me change the camera setting because we're going to go on a crazy one right now. Let's see. All right. There we go. Okay, so let's start going on the tour right away. And I'm going to cross the bridge first before we get there. And Johnny, yeah, how you doing? Johnny says hi to everyone. Sorry, I can't use my other hand right now. But we're going to cross this right now. Check this out. Yeah, and you notice on the right here, What's cool about this is you have, you have a bike. You can put your bike on there and walk across with your bike. All right, so let's get to it. I do have to be a little careful here because then I have some ajumas come in my way too. So, all right, so take a look here. So before we get up to Keist, and Keist is right in front of me. So I will take you into Keist. That's going to be the fun trip going to Keist. So you got to be very careful, but got to go slow. But I think these Ajumas are doing really good at this. So, so see, got to make the traffic jam work here. There we go. See? So there we go. Got to be careful here. So things are flowing right here on the river. Whoa. That was a close one. Woo. See? Show you the stream here. See? Yeah. Let you guys look at that. Yes. Okay, now I got a hands free. So, Johnny, I did not forget you. Yep. Hi. And Bama, yes, it's a nice day. Loving it. Look at that. Nice to look at that stream. All right, let's get walking. I got, uh, I'm going to tell you that in a second. Let me get across this, Bama. Once I get across, I'll tell you what KAIST stands for. <laughs> and some of you might even Google it and go, oh, okay. <laughs> uh. So, KAIST. Yes, it is a, I'll tell you this, it is a nice place i will you know if you graduate from kais man you got some good status 
Yeah, yeah, Mama was there, so hopefully I don't fall. Yeah. So, whoa! Some of it are flat, some of it are like, you know, jagged. So you gotta be careful with these rocks. All right, so I'm almost there to safety. Not trying to run through this. Like, you know, the Ninja Gauntlet or American Gladiators. <laughs> There we go. Now I got to cross. We're safe. Okay. Now. Yeah, it is looking good. So, KAIS, what does it stand for? It's Korean Advanced Institute Science Technology. And then there's actually information, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, partly mid 60s. Amazing how quick the season changed here. Yeah, it is going to be cold, getting cooler. Time to turn that heater on soon. It's getting a little cooler in Bama. Yeah. Perfect weather for football, isn't it? <laughs> so, yep. All right. So I made it across that bridge. Now I'm going to take us to Kai. So. If you saw the thumbnail, I'm actually going to show you. You'll get to see the sign. So it is a huge campus. So I don't know how much I can cover. So, yeah. yeah I should have done that. The thing is, if I drop back into the Philippines, I don't know when. I would love to do the walking tours in the Philippines. Only problem is, <laughs> is the internet and data going to be that good, even in Cebu City? Because, you know, your, your load or your pocket Wi-Fi does so much. <laughs> All right, here it is. We're going to Keist. So there is Keist. And you'll see the sign, too. Yep. Yep, in California we had four seasons, two fire, riot, earthquake, yep, and hot summer. I'm gonna try to get more to my right and show you the sign. Yep. So this is gonna be fun to check out. Yeah, I mean, I've been to this campus so many times, but I've never like really looked at everything. So this might be some of the things I haven't seen. But this is not a, this is a pretty good place to work at. I mean, your status is pretty high if you can work at Keist. If I was like a young 30-year-old or late 20s working at Kais, yeah, that status is really good. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, check this out. Here's the sign. So if you saw the thumbnail that I put, here's the grass cut. So in actual life, there is the Kais, the landscape of it. And that is the sign. I need to wait a little and be patient here. Don't need cars to run me over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm very late on this. If I could have, if I could have worked at Keist, yeah, my life would have been a little different. <laughs> but I don't know if I would have been a YouTuber. <laughs> Things happen for a reason. Make sure. Let's see. Let's read this sign. Full control of outsiders to prevent the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, go. Are you telling me not to come in here? Come on, let me come in. <laughs> so I'm looking around. So here's the campus. So this is the main entrance of Keist. Yep, once a month, and I'll have to leave unless uh, 
get my visa extended. So you got to check out immigration. That's going to be interesting to find out. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of the map here of Keist. It is a wide campus. I don't know where I can get around. I've been on the north side. I've been on the west side. Yeah. Because I used to do uh, Toastmasters uh, here at uh, Keist. So I used to come around here uh, in every Monday night. Of course, the problem is like when I go do Toastmasters, it's, you know, I have to take the bus all the way around because if I go from here, it's going to take me forever. Oh, let's see. Nolan, welcome. Welcome to the tour. <laughs> yeah, so Nolan, I use E on this King Lee Way channel. I do a lot of K Korea walking tours. And then, you know, but I'll be back mixing it up on Wednesday morning with the Dodgers. <laughs> yep, let's see. Oh, yeah, I saw videos from, yeah, Mook and Happy. Yeah, uh, that's Xander and Happy. They talk about, the, yeah, you're over the hill. Yeah, I was on a live stream. Like, we were interacting about Korea issues, me, Xander, and stuff. So I might try to go and meet up with them if I get a chance. Yeah. So there we go. So Nolan and Johnny's in the house. That's what Bama says. Thomas, over the hill. I'm trying to stay under the hill. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Let's go and take this trip here. Yeah, because usually on the left is west. Because all the west campuses and most of the um, housing is on the west. Because the only reason I know that is I went to a lot of gatherings with a lot of uh, friends here at Keist. Yeah, so I've been to their places where, yeah, as you can see, W21, these are all like the international centers as you look at the signs. So, yeah. So we'll just go around and see. But of course, some places I know I can't go in because I need a student ID. And I'm not a student here. <laughs> so I won't have access to a lot of things. Like a lot of these buildings, they're card activated. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's see. Nolan. Yep. I got the schedule too. 9.30, 6.38 Pacific. 10:38 uh korean time so yep i got that i already wrote it in my calendar <laughs> let's see all right one part i love to show of keist is this and this is a campus i think opened in 1971 this campus was uh funded first by the united states government which i didn't even know that but not surprised. <laughs> and Scott, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah. And Thomas, yeah. So, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, and this is no, another thing is here at Keist, at times, I have not seen it, but it's known for the a lot of ducks hang out at, at these, you know, ponds. But I haven't seen any ducks. But on the site, it says, yeah, lots of ducks are, you know, all over the place. Yeah. Let's see. Nolan's talking about his game. Oh, you guys won 15 to 2. It's kind of mercy run. Mercy them, huh? Mercy rule. All right, so here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go check out this place, the foreign center, where most of the foreigners work. So, wow, I'm starting to see some stuff up here. Yeah, because I never really got into the mix here at Keist, so, because, so I'm always denied certain accesses. Okay, so. Oh, so you got to. Let's see. So, Thomas, you got to. 
do some shopping. Yep, go get the kimchi at E-Mart. Oh, straight nine innings, so you guys piled it on at the end. Okay, that's probably what happened. China Dave, welcome. Yep, glad you can make it. So, nice to see everyone. Yep, would have been a mercy rule. Must be some good stuff. Yeah, all right, Scott's asking Thomas. So, everyone's having a nice conversation in this community. All right, it's so pretty neat. So I'm going to go up. You know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this trail because this looks pretty cool, you know. The zoonosis. <laughs> the zoonosis. Okay, so here's the definition. Cat scratch disease. Toxoplasma. <laughs> yep. Trichocytosis. Rabies. <laughs> so they're like, be careful when you come in contact with wildlife. All right, let's take a look up here. Yeah, welcome, guys. Ugh. So I'm getting a lot of exercise today. So I need to drop all those pounds from sitting and, do, and doing Dodger broadcast. So, yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. I like this little area. So I made it up the stairs. Wow. Look at this. So this is a little sitting place. Yeah, to hire the... Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, so this river is like the signature place here. Wow. Really enjoying this view. Yeah, look at all those apartments. Apartments, apartments. Not a lot of, you know, homes, you know, like in Parasite. <laughs> They're usually up on the hill. So, yep. Take a look. Let's see, Scott. Have I talked to Vern? Not as much. Uh, Vern. But I know Vern's going to uh, stay busy up there in Turkey. So I got to, I do want to maybe after a while bring him back on and then wait a while till he, you know, gets to Turkey. Okay, the market here makes fresh kimchi every day super spicy. Yep, Nolan. Yep, I saw the Raiders lose today. I'm not happy about that. Yep, very cool. Yeah, I love these little spots here. Let's see. Yeah. So here we go. All right. So look at this. As usual, you don't need a gym. You got all these Nautilus machines. Wow. Look how soft this is. Doesn't put a lot of wear and tear, tear on your feet. Yeah, it's good to see Vern doing well. Hey, Vern. So, yeah, he's doing well with his channel. Wowzers. Okay, at least this is not too hard. I feel like all of a sudden this turned into a mini hike. All right, Nolan, have a great day. I'll see you for the uh, Dodger game on. Tuesday night. I'll have it broadcast. So, wow. Woohoo. Yeah. Yeah, the Saints lost, but Drew Brees pissed me off. He can't get any fantasy points. He killed me today. <laughs> Some one in three in my league here in Korea. <laughs> All right. Wow. I didn't know there's more to this. Yep. There we go. Blue 80. Blue 80. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm already dying. <laughs> That's uh, so what happens. I've been sitting. 
Oh, wow. I can hear screaming kids. Wow. Oh, you just sent me a cacao? Let's see. Okay, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, anything you want to say, you know, about your experience, go ahead. I just saw your cacao message. Well. Okay. I'm going to give a... The, the, the bear. Smokey the bear. Only you can prevent fires. <laughs> so take this as a Smokey the Bear message, Korean style. <laughs> make do fire inspection, make Korea a safe country. I like how they put that word, be careful with forest fire. Did they purposely do that for spacing? Yeah. Scott, I hiked my from my truck to the truck stop. Man. That's that's quite a hike, isn't it? Yep. Let's let's run Z2 motion on two. <laughs> okay. Wow. Discoveries, discoveries. I know this has turned into a university's trip to a trail trip. I don't know how much I can do because there's a lot of places still to go at Keist. But I'll go to the International Center back. Yep. Maybe he was on campus with a trench got arrested. <laughs> what is it? Um, there's like little crazy secrets like in Korea. Like there's a car called Boobly Man or Booba Man. And the stereotype is a, a, a Korean Ajishi in a trench coat. That's a flasher. <laughs> so, yeah. A boobly man or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm almost starting to feel like Blair Witch Project, huh? During the stream, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> I won't even exist. Yeah. So here we go. I just described hike. <laughs> yeah. All right. So hopefully I can find my way back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Bama. I remember that movie being uh, released in January. So it's shown at one of the film festivals. Yep. Any sighting of Bigfoot? Not yet. Might come and get me. <laughs> yeah. Place is beautiful. Bring a tent. Yeah. We have, we have some good nature up at Keist. I didn't know. <laughs> of course, some people go, of course I knew about that little trail. Oh, I didn't. I don't hang out at Keist. <laughs> I've no really reason to come to Keist unless it's a friend that invites me here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're standing tired. He's in the house. Wow. So I could go down the trail. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to go down. I think I've been going too much far up. So I'm going to have to be careful here. But the way they made this trail is they didn't make it as difficult. I mean, I've been on hikes where, where you do need the equipment need the little spikes need the stick for balance 
I mean, like the Adjumas and Odysseys that go on hikes, man, they got they go the whole nine yards on the equipment. It is nuts. Yeah. Actually, because when I was, I think it was, I don't know if it was released in in the theaters, but it was released at a festival, but I think because of COVID, it never got to it. Yeah. Oh, I have to take that after. Yep. I usually gain weight on my height because there's usually a Denny's at the end. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I did some walking yesterday, but wow. I didn't realize this. Dang. Wow, this is. I didn't know they built kites like this. <laughs> or this was, well, there was nothing back in 1971. Whoa. So I'm taking a mystery trip just like all of you right now who's with me. Oh, wow. It gets steeper and steeper. Should I? I might end up at that little kitty's playground the way it's, this trail's going. Wow. Yeah. Yep, you got your trekking pole for a long distance. <laughs> Wowzers. I didn't realize. Okay, so this does. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. I would bring, I would bring, yeah, if my girlfriend was, I'd take her on the walk here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I should get a trekking pole for those long romantic walks to the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll probably be the thing. Go to E-Mart, Thomas, and go pick that up today. I'm sure they have it at E-Mart. Whoa, very steep. Watch your step. Woo! Watch me tumble down like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You got to be careful up in this. Man. The, of course, the Ajumaji show. This is nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I do a lot of that walking. I'm going to have to for the sports broadcasting I'll be doing this week since the Dodgers will be hosting the Padres this week. And then uh, get in a walking. Now, I have a, I have to do this today. I have to message. Uh, I, was, I was on this one Filipina's uh, YouTube channel. She lives in Seoul. She's married to a Korean guy. So, so she said she wanted to come on as a guest on my channel. So keep my fingers crossed. I would like to get her on and, you know, get a point of view of the experience of a Filipino living here in Korea. Oh, okay. So these are dorm rooms. Okay, I get it. So I probably won't have access to any of this. Plus, uh, if it's like all girls, I don't want to be like, hey, no, what are you doing here? Okay, so these are pretty nice. A lot of bikes. I see why you need a bike here. Yeah, but like the foreigners, they're, they're built like the dormitories are not really dormitories. They're like really nice apartment buildings. So, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, wow. I'm going to try to cut across. Take a shortcut. But there's a chance. Let's see if I can at least cross through. Take a shortcut at least. That would be the clue. So, walk across. That's not right. Yeah, okay, the... The place I need a snack is closed. Well, I'm kind of getting lost up in here. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Okay, there's the Hunbit apartment. So, I'm starting to get my bearings. 
a few of my bearings here. If I turn right, it'll take me right back onto the campus. Yeah, so it must be expensive to live here. Let's see, Scott says, yeah, sounds like a lot of guys have gone to Mexico, yeah. But it's kind of really hard. I heard from some guys it's just hard to date there. It's not like the Mexico of the old days, but, you know, everyone's experience is different. Okay. So, yep, and Thomas of Mexico sucks or crazy. I'm half Mexican. I lived in San Diego. You're taking your life in your hands. Yep. Maybe I should have got a scooter, an electric scooter like this kid did. But it makes sense to get one. <laughs> living in here yeah usually what sucks is i don't i wouldn't want to live at keist thomas don't be shy tell us what you really think yeah so <laughs> run by cartels crooked cops yep it's a pagala dinero yo yep yo Tienes dinero? Yo tengo dinero. <laughs> yep, sounds like Los Angeles. Yep, Rampart Division. Or overall, as Scott says, like America. <laughs> okay, hopefully this doesn't lead me to nowhere. <laughs> I want to take out my neighbor Google Maps. Some, the Google works for you know, general stuff. But for a neighbor, it works the exact, but I'm not looking for exact. <laughs> but wow, this is interesting. So I'm on the west side. So I know I'm, I kind of have a bearings of where I am in regards to the campus. And another thing is like from Kais, there's a back route to take you in the Gungdong. Now you're curious. Nothing is worse than Los Angeles. Maybe Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know I'm going the wrong. I am going the right way. Good. As you can see now, I know. So the ones, the foreigners mostly live in the international village right there. So I do know that one. So there's another area which had nice uh, condos and apartments here. This hideout in King's apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, then I gotta get another couch then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but eventually I'm already tied, so they'll know where to find Thomas if he was hiding out. Immigration cops would know. <laughs> Detroit, yep. Yes, you've never been to Detroit. <laughs> uh, every time I think about Detroit, I think about Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> Axel Foley. That's what goes through my mind. And then there was a show on TNT called Detroit for the cops. But I think that only lasted one season. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Michigan one time because my I have a buddy that lives in Grand Rapids and he's a big Grand Rapids uh, Griffins fan. Oh, by the way, that bus is electric is what I found out. They don't use gas. So it's electrically charged. Huh. Yep. Yep, it's never been to Detroit. Yep. Actually, I don't remember. I did go to, I take that back. I've been to Michigan once for a camp, but I don't remember where I went. I don't remember at all where, which camp I went. It was a church function with my dad and mom. And I just remember watching a movie <laughs> about something. <laughs> I don't even remember. Ned Bob, welcome for joining us. We're on a little uh, university kite trip here. And 
and them. Yeah. Yep, Detroit. Yeah, I think I need one of those electric scooters. <laughs> Looks pretty barren there for a college campus. Yeah. Yep, a broker ended up on a trail on a little hike, and it turned me all around. Yeah, teach a class and play at the place that's post apocalyptic. <laughs> hey, mid bomb, Scott says. Yeah, ooh, it's getting, it's getting windy. Okay, the left place, the left side is a little school. I think that's the one. Actually, there was a job opening there, but I don't know. I didn't want to try to hold three year old infants. <laughs> I was like, I would have had to act, I would have to teach like this. Gaga, goo goo, gaga. <laughs> no, that's okay. I get tired of they get sold after a while. Yep, broker. Yep. Yep. Yep, broker in the house. They're from Dublin. Is that an all girls university? Unfortunately not. But it is a university that, you know, it's a good status. Okay, now I now I remember this place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw your message. I can't reply. I'm kinda hands are occupied. Okay, yeah, this is where I've been to. This is where my friends used to live. Yep, I agree, Scott. Every, especially in America, got to keep my head on a swivel, you know? Here, I do keep a minor head on a swivel, but not as bad. But, you know, when I first came here, the, my head was always on a swivel. Was, What's wrong with you, King? Sorry, I'm from America. It's by habit. Yeah. Like, you know, like in America, he just, I kind of think like uh, cops, you know, because, you know, like now I've never served in law enforcement, but one thing I do know when they go to restaurants, they want to make sure their eyes are towards the window. So that's one thing I know. So sometimes for cops, I will give up that seat for them. So they're keeping an eye, but I still like to have my back against the wall and my eyes on the window. So, yep, let's see, broker. Yep, growing a farm place called Carlo, 60 miles of Dublin. Most of my Irish friends are in Dublin, okay. Visit any large Asian city, yep. Let's see, can I take a shortcut? Oh no, I can't take a shortcut through there, I remember. Who? I wonder, I don't think my friend's there anymore. Uh, I had a friend, she, she's from Greece, but I don't think she's here anymore. Yeah. Agreeance and pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. So, yep. So watch it alone. Okay, so now I'm back on the main road here. Yep, I bet, I bet, uh, yep, I get my freight unloading, get out of there in that major city I am, yeah. Yeah, I know a couple truckers, yeah, they just tell me stories too, you know. They tell me a bunch of little tidbits. What is it? I remember when I used to work at a store in California called Tuesday morning. Yeah, so... I, like I could tell the experienced trucker and the unexperienced trucker. The unexperienced trucker, he just sits there and goes, hurry up. I said, well, if you kind of help us a little bit, I can get the shipment on and get you out of here. <laughs> and then the guy that's been around goes, hey, hey, man, I make money by the load. Factoring my load, I got to go. So that's why I'm going to help you. I said, no problem. I, I want to help you too, sir. Get you in and out of here. He goes, that's right. 
But of course, it's different because he had a little smaller truck where he could help. But yeah, you know, retail. <laughs> yeah, so, yep. So I don't blame you, Scott. Get in, get down. And even the other trucker buddy's like, yeah. Besides what you said, most of them is major city. I don't want to be there. But then the other attitude is time is money. Okay, so blogger I follow, Alpha Interactions from Cork, Ireland. Okay. So, talks about Ireland, huh? Oh. I don't even, I'm just losing my mind. Like, where am I going? <laughs> Manila. Okay, so this is like the athletic facilities here. We'll see if I make it to the north building because that's where I did Toastmasters. But let's see, here's a tennis course. Let's see how the tennis courts look. Are they well kept up or? Jeez, yeah. For a, for a nice campus like this, you figure they'll keep that up. Yep, Thomas, you've been all over. Sinjin, one go, all over the place. Yeah. Bangkok, a few days long ago, I went to Manila. Atlanta has the highest crime of stealing freights out of the back of trucks. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would want to get out of there. Thomas, you do Manila, how dangerous was it? Yeah. I have to go by Manila next time because I want to go visit the shelter of half Korean, half Filipino kids. I was always interested in doing that, but I ran out of time on my last trip. But I would love to go there just to talk to, you know, the guy, the Korean guy married to the Filipina. Uh, trying to, you know, help uh, the Korean, the help half Filipino, half Korean kids find their father so they can get registered in the family registry. Yeah. Yep. I like Atlanta. I taught classes. Okay, in Reardon, Mississippi. Yeah. But, yep. That's, that's another topic I'm looking to do. King, is there a dangerous area where you are? I don't think so. In Korea, even in the, like, worst uh, rundown areas, it's still safe. You know? I've pretty much been everywhere. You know, they do a pretty good job of keeping everything safe. That's one thing I like about, you know, Korea. I'm more worried about the cars than somebody pickpocketing me. So that's the one thing if you come to Korea, there's so much CCTV. So... If they wanted to track where I was, I said, hey, I was at Kais. Look around. You see me blogging. <laughs> There's CCTV everywhere. Now, one time, I purposely did leave 100,001 on the table for an hour, which is stupid. Nobody took it. Nobody took my money. <laughs> and, and usually, I don't even like to take that risk, but... I just did an experiment. I would have maybe, I, sh I wish, you know, I was blogging back then because then I would have just put a video there, you know, and edit it and go, okay, here's my money. Because I don't think anyone wants to watch an hour with money on that table. <laughs> yeah, Dave says only North Korea. <laughs> yeah, half the corona will shoot you on spot. I didn't feel like Melinda... Uh, Manila is dangerous, just a bit overcrowded. I never went to the poverty area, so yeah. Cork is a real capital island. There isn't nothing but uh, Jack Keens in Dublin, okay? Yep, let's see. Thomas, yeah, you can legally smoke weed in California. One thing I do, yeah. I actually uh, come by uh, California 
I don't usually smoke it. I usually eat it. Like I, like the good stuff to eat is like indica. Like if you want to sleep, that's one way to look at it. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's a little area of a coffee shop and everything. Yeah. Let's see, broker. Yep, I had my share to Rough Seven Land over the past five years. I was looking after some houses in Lakewood Heights. Okay. Let's see. Manila could be dangerous for foreigners because I say Nippon, you've been there. I had a few plans for guests, but I don't like to pot much. Yeah. Like Jameson. Let's see. Let's go up. Oh. So there's a. Hey. Guess what? I'm the Juice King. Yeah. Let's put some cannabis and some Juice King. There's some spider webs here. Yeah. We call them blunt heads. Wow. Take a look. Wow, okay, so this is a little cafeteria here. Let's go in and take a look where would they let me in. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure I don't get in the way of anybody. Blunt hits, more than local knowledge. Yeah, pizza. So we have a lot of now foreign students coming in. I've noticed. See, I, see, I hear different languages, you know, so. Yeah. Good joke, Dubliner's expense, yeah. So, please use a left door. Yeah, at the Dubliner's expense. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so this is a full blown cafeteria, hopefully. They cannot enter, but I'm not going to go completely in. I'm just going to show a few places so yeah over here there is a cafeteria so this is a food court right here at Kais. and if you go to the right when i go to my right yeah so actually yeah now I remember this place this is like the second time i've been here so yeah okay so let's see my family still owns land in Ireland. If you have Irish rights back, you can you can't have dual citizenship. Yeah, three years back I had we child. Just one square was enough for me. Yeah. Thomas, have you been to Ireland? So yeah. All right. So well, I didn't know they had all this here. But I think now now I remember this I might have been here. I'm not trying. Because most of the times when I come here. I come at at night time, you know. So me. So okay, so that was interesting how the setup is here. So a lot of Kai students. We do have all uh, uh, quite a bit of a Chinese presence here too. And another thing is, this is not just a university. It is actually a research facility place. So. Some of my guys that I met, they're actually uh, working here at KAIST as a job. So they're not all, you know, this is not just completely a college campus. This is kind of, she, a work center too, like for, la for research, laboratories. So you got working professionals that actually live on this campus and, you know, do a lot of R&D, research and development. And... Uh, and quite a lot of foreigners are here at this campus. So, okay, so N11 is a student cafeteria. Yeah, I really never come here during the daytime. Let me see, there's, oh, actually this is starting to now get very familiar to me because I came here to, uh, yeah, this is where we go for second round. At, uh, for after Toastmaster. So this brings back a lot of the memories. Yeah, we would go do our Toastmaster session. And then after that, we would uh, come here to second round for Icha, 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 drinking rounds. Okay, good. Here's a Lotteria, Lotte Company, Lotteria, hamburger. Let's see. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so change if you're not sure at first, but for Irish citizenship, my grandfather had a fishing boat in Galway. This campus is dead, but the weather's bright. Yeah. I don't know. That does, I'm sorry. That does not look too appetizing to me. Put it on those silver lunch trays. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, take a look at this. Oh, that's nice. i go up the stairs. Yeah, the campus. Yeah, it is kind of dead. Well, it's so big, so it's never even busy regardless as much. Right now, it's pretty uh, busy right now because everyone's going to lunch. So you saw the cafeteria is real busy. But now the campus is so widely spread out. It, I rarely, it, a lot of this wouldn't surprise me even during pre-COVID. But man, I'm on the other side of the campus. I probably need to head, start heading back the right direction and not lose myself here. Let's see. Dude, I'm going to get really hungry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yep. Let's see. Pretty cool. Yep. Is that where you learn to speak so eloquently, King Toastmasters? Not, uh, yes and no. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty nice. Oh, here, here's a sports arena. Wow. Okay, now I know where I'm at. Take a look. Woo. Yeah, there we go. There's a baseball field, but they never keep the conditions of the base field fields up unless it's the pro teams. But soccer fields, why? They always keep good conditions. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see, Tom, I saw your cacao message, yep, oh, okay, yeah, I know what Thomas is saying, <laughs> no, we're, we're good now, we got, uh, we got a good amount of people now. But I'll, I'll respond and say, go for it. Here, check your cacao, Thomas. Doesn't, or it doesn't, okay, because I have to, well, usually it shows that I looked at it if the one disappears. Am I in jail? We're almost 50 minutes late, so we may be announcement. I'm going to have to get some bail money. <laughs> Oh, King might be in jail. Tell him not to wear a trench coat and leggies on the campus. Well, no, I haven't scared off anyone. I don't do the trench coat thing. <laughs> Filipino time, yes. Well, we call it Korean time, too. So, of course, Filipinos are more light than Korean time. But if we say Japanese time, <laughs> it's a sin if you're late. Wow, I like this. Let me see. Let's keep walking and see what, what else is there. Oh, so you got the solar panels on top. Yep. Filipino girl. I love this one jam. There's one song I like, Filipino girl. There ain't no, there ain't no. I'll probably be like, what are you doing up here? Of course, Samsung. Samsung air conditioning fans and energy. Yep. Samsung does, of course, a lot more. Even apartments. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's a little mini soccer field. Yeah, that's right, broker. Let's see. Check your Let's see, Thomas. My cacao talk. Yes, I'm, I'm on. 
Filipino slash Korean time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm just, wow, it's an hour. I'm getting tired, but I'm going to start heading back. There's still a lot to cover, but I'm going to start walking back to where I'm familiar and just head back. Yeah, I don't want to go, I don't want to end up in that other city called Xingchengdong. <laughs> yeah, there's another city where my friend lives, and I'm like, why? Why do you want to go there? Why do you want to go to Xingchengdong? Because there's like nothing out there. And even I talked to some of the Korean guys that I met at the language exchange. They're like, yeah, it's cheap to buy a place there because there's like nothing over there. There's no uh, subway. You have a bunch of taxis and buses, but if you live over there, you need a car. <laughs> yeah. But there isn't much over there. That's where my friend used to live because I, I would go meet up with her at times when I'm in the area. But she's the one back in America. I do. Okay. Yep, broker. Must be the agriculture side department solar farm, yeah. So, well, they're coming out to run of the cafeteria. Yes, I just replied. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting exhausted. I know I'm going to have to force myself just to walk for fun after my uh, Dodger broadcast. Because hopefully the Dodgers don't go five games to beat the Padres. Because <laughs> if they do, I'm going to be doing a live stream every day. Hopefully they'll be done by uh, Friday. Yo. Stuck, stuck. Nice to see you. Looks like more nice force facilities. Where you go, what you do. Yeah. Yep, I'm at Guru Kaist here, Stuck. So, uh, as you can see, I feel so de deconditioned because I've sat at home. Yeah. I just sat at home. <laughs> Not moving. <laughs> and Stuck is going to be probably... if. If the NLDS goes five games with the Dodgers, I'm going to be home for five days. So I'm hoping they will sweep the Padres and then I can uh, get back out to walking. <laughs> so don't screw up my, so the Dodgers don't screw up my schedule. <laughs> yeah, what is your name? What's my name? Oh, yeah, well, and Bama, when you say, What's your name or what's my name? My reminds me of that movie Mo Money. I got you an attorney. What's my name? Got you a good attorney. What's my name? <laughs> so that was a good move. I enjoyed that movie Mo Money with Damon Wayans, uh, Marlon Wayans. You know when the Wayans were the big, you know popular guys in entertainment back in the 90s living color the last boy scout <laughs> or damon wayans the funny one in living color is when he plays the clown homie the clown takes a sock and hits you in the head homie don't play that so yeah okay so this is a nice little mini bike route Yeah, okay, so I'm heading back on the same route now. <laughs> Sounds like I might have to do a part two of this place. More money, more problems, yep. The walks are good for you. I would like to see more to keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, yep. It's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could have my girlfriend here hold the camera. <laughs> I said she's going to get tired. <laughs> I probably would tire her out 
Yeah. Ooh, walk. Yep. Yeah, because uh, when I was in China last November, you know, because I stayed at the campus of, you know, the university, the uh, Shandong University. Yeah, there was actually a lot of places there to walk around. I actually, uh, and then there's like uh, 20 basketball hoops nearby. So I was like, next time I'll bring me a basketball from a uh, time zone. I haven't even uh, inflated it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go shoot baskets. <laughs> go hang out with the Chinese students. Go play basketball with them. They do love basketball, just like the Philippines. Uh, let's see. All right. Oh, yeah. How's my girl doing in China? They, no, she's she just went to the Great Wall, went to the National Stadium in Beijing. She just got back from Beijing. I was so jealous and mad. Like, you went without me. Can't wait for me. So, yeah, she's like, so she got to see the Great Wall before I did. So, now that I heard, she was telling me that was a big a walk. So... That was a tiring walk to go to uh, the Great Wall because it's really long. <laughs> well, the good thing is we're not seeing a bunch of S. I don't have to go up a bunch of escalators or down escalators at Keist. So, but yeah, actually, now if I was Scott, if I was in China right now, I would probably be. Uh, <laughs> working so much because as i told my girlfriend you know because the uni job the the hours are short they're like only 12 hours a week so and i just told her look this is how i did it in korea just network with the moms you know and plus it does help that you're uh you know a young female because you know that's what you know the moms want young females you know so she's now all of a sudden like getting lots of private jobs. And you know, the pay per hour is like, wow. It's a of course I'd be like, I want more than what she's getting. But yeah, she's been doing good over there. Cause most of the time she's like like sending me pictures of her and the students, like, yep, I have I have three uh, 12 year old students, middle school students. So yeah. You saw the Great Wall on the border of Mexico. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the only wall we saw. <laughs> Looking over our shoulder. <laughs> Great Wall. <laughs> or La Migra waiting on the other side. Okay. Just in case you get lost. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Information Center, Campus Police, lost and found. Hopefully, yep. So, wow. I try to go to the left a little bit. But, yeah, this is. But, yeah, if I was like a youngster, I would try to get into this university. I actually met this one Korean American kid here. He was like only 24. I was like, how the heck did you get into this school? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> but I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, and then I have one guy I met uh, at the bar. He's right now working at the lab right now. But I don't want to go bother people. I told him, come out if you can, but I know, you know, it's kind of frowned upon when visitors come. That's one thing. Or like when I want to go visit academies, I don't really ask and go anymore because they don't want, it's just frowned upon. Even if I, but I was thinking about doing this. Yes, I work at the Ministry of Education. I'm here to observe this teacher and clear of any wrongdoing. 
if I could, you know, pull that off. Oh, wowzers. Up, let's see. Uh, I'll make a quick detour to the left. I'll take and get closer to the pond here. Yeah, ha ha, Scott. Ha ha. Yeah, at least, at least the Simpsons and Family Guy, they, they're actually bringing out new episodes. Because you really don't need to be at a physical place to, uh, you know, do the job since it's all cartoons animated. So you could be at, so these voiceovers could be at home and, uh, and record themselves at home. <laughs> Let's see, I used to sit on the hill about half a mile north of the Brett T, but things are getting boring after the wall went up. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna take you to the pond here. I'm gonna go on the other side, give you a clearer look. You get some good exercise and take Thomas with you. And push him around <laughs> in a wheelchair, yeah. Any thoughts about doing teaching? In? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting till things die down. I'll probably look to do some company jobs. Of course, if I do do any of the company jobs here, uh, I ain't going to be able to live stream at this time because most of the jobs are at lunchtime, you know. So that's what would happen. <laughs> Unless I decide to do a special live stream <laughs> with my students, but the thing is, uh, the problem I could run into is they don't want <laughs> to be on, you know, video. Because I do get a lot of resistance from Koreans that, to do be my guest on here, you know? Unless they're like an uh, uh, English-speaking YouTuber. So... I get a lot of resistance. Yep, I'm good. I gained so much on the stupa, I need to get out and walk. Yeah. Well, I like looking at, okay, so up, so this is pretty good here. Wow, I don't like this. This is kind of nice to look at. Oh, I'm getting some of that on the backwash. Oh, they have a they have a subway here. Does look like they're eating subway or what? So yep. Look at this. Oh, I'm even getting some of the water splash on me. Whoa! I'm appreciating this only way I'll teach if I do some for free for kids. Yeah. Okay, Thomas, you can push T. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, if I go to China, I have to teach. That's that's a no-brainer because I need to get that visa. The Z visa. Oh, this is refreshing. The water's coming back onto me. Wow, this is pretty nice. Nice little water show. Oh, geez, it's attacking me. The water, the backflash. Oh, Ooh, this is nice. This is nice and refreshing. Yeah. There you go. Take care. Now I could put some elevator music in. You guys can watch the water. <laughs> of course, I love the water show in Bellagio. When they play the Andre Bocelli song. Time to say goodbye. Conte partido. So, yeah. So, this is nice. Yeah, wonderful light up at night. Not sure. Now, what I would like to do in the spring, because I think I'll be here in April, is wonder... When the, you know, the, the spring blossom, 
where the flowers bloom, I like to walk around. Good day, if, dang, if Paul and you are on live, and you are on live at the, oh, Paul is on live now? <laughs> I know. Let's see. <laughs> Did you need a chef? You know what would be funny? Paul, send me a link to StreamYard. Bring me in right now. <laughs> Take a look. Let me see. I should, I should tell Paul. I should do that with Paul, huh? What do you guys think? If I'm doing a walking live stream and Paul gets on, see, but the thing is, Paul doesn't schedule anything like I do, you know? Oh, even my buddy Tim is on right now. Everybody's streaming. Let's see, Paul. That would be the fun part. I would love that. Okay, Paul in the Philippines. Let's see. Get me on the stream now. Is he's actually streaming? It doesn't look like he's streaming. Paul is live right now. Yeah, I don't see Paul. Oh, Paul is live, but it does. Okay, let's see. All right, look at this, guys. Paul's live streaming, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm taking 10 from Paul, or some of you guys are watching them. Yeah. Yeah, I might need a shower. Yeah. Water should be cooling off that quick. Yeah, it is. It's getting cool. Just like Vegas. Paul only has 148 watching. <laughs> he usually has more than that. He usually has about 250 to 300 watching. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, he would have to send me the link to StreamYard on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, ch check out the scenery here. So, yeah. I should go. I'll be like, bring me in, Paul. All right, let's walk. Oh, got a miss. Oh, got a message from Rike here. So I'm not going to read what he said. <laughs> but it doesn't pertain to me anyway. It's just in a group chat. <laughs> yep. So that's kind of cool to just kind of hang. <laughs> I'll go on Paul and tell everyone you are streaming. <laughs> tell Paul to send me a link. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'll make it more fun and like. Yeah, because I could stream on the stream yard with this one. And then I can go on my other phone and say, Paul, I'm live streaming right now. <laughs> so that's what I would do. That would be pretty exciting. I know it would be kind of tough to like. I know this is where I could use a third hand, huh? This is where four, arm, four arms would come into play. <laughs> now, I could buy me a neck holder with the phone. But the thing is, you, you guys going to get a headache without the gimbal, you know. But there's one where I could put the camera and put the wire on my neck and the camera on it. But the thing is, I don't think it stabilizes real well. Because it's not made for blogging. It's made for, you know, having your hands free. Unless you're still, that'd be fine. <laughs> nope. Nope, I know. Paul never plans anything. He just like, oh, I'm going to do a live stream. Man, here you go, live stream. And next thing I wake up, oh, there's a live stream.
once in a while I might do like impromptu based on where I am if something really cool is going on and if something really you know like <laughs> something's happening then I might do a live stream you know as an impromptu like that night I was in downtown because that was the night where they lifted the level so we're still allowed to party to the break of dawn <laughs> But only problem, even if I don't drink, I stay out till 6 a.m. Man, it takes me a couple of days to get back in to flow. <laughs> so I get really tired and I'm like, oh, crap. Did I let that whole day go? How did that work? Yep. But Paul can do that anyways. And then there's Mark. Uh, every man has a story. Yeah, I didn't realize, like, my God, goodness, how many bloggers are in Dumaguete now? I've lost count because, let's see. Well, I'm at it. It makes me think. We got Paul. We used to have Rike because he started it there. Uh, can you get a ticket for not crossing at a cross? You technically could. But it's not enforced. I know in Japan they say don't do it. So when I was in Japan, my friends like don't cross, cause oh, cause if cops are around they will. But you know, never got any issues there. But yeah, you're technically not supposed to cross. But it's like even America, we have that jaywalking law too. But is it ever really enforced? But uh, yeah, but yeah, I'd, I lost count on how many bloggers are in Dumaguete. <laughs> and then, of course, I see, I do know who all the trolls are. Um, it shows up on my alert like, oh, I can't stand all those Dumaguete guys. Oh, I'm just like, okay, whatever. But yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. But. I'll tell you this, I do love visiting Dumaguete. I do like, you know, you know, checking out the beach. Next time I want to go to Apple Isle, Apple Island to see the sea turtles. And then I still want to go to those other places. Ricky talk about Oceans 24. I've been to that Port Royal. That's a pretty cool place. It's like has water slides and everything. So that's one thing I do like. But, yeah, but for me, Dumaguete is not an ideal place for me to stay. It is good for, like, retirees. It is cheap. But the issues you're going to run into, like, in Dumaguete, Valencia, is those Internet issues, the water issues. So if you can deal with that, then, you know, that Dumaguete is for you and Valencia is for you. So if you can deal with simplicity, that's cool. But for me, as of now, I wouldn't live in Dumaguete. But my mind could change maybe if I'm older, but I'm looking at more like Cebu. Oh, another message from Rike. I need to get rid of it. Yeah. So, let's see. All right. So, I'm at the bus stop here. So, I'm going to probably end the trip here. So, if you have any last-minute comments... I will board the bus in case it does come. So let's see here. Let me see. So Paul's still alive. So I might go join over at Paul in a second. Let me see when the bus is coming. Let me see this bus schedule. Oh. I got four minutes. So I got to wait four more minutes. Yeah. All right. So if you guys got any last minute comments, go ahead and throw them because the bus is picking me up in four minutes. So we'll go. We'll end it here. Um, let's see. Game plan. I will uh, do a watch party on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. Yeah. I am going to try to shoot for that interview. And let me change the settings. 
shoot for the interview. Let me get this back. So, yeah. So, we'll see if that week, but if I do the interview, it'll be nighttime in Korea because I don't think I can do it in the daytime with her. So, if I can get her to tell me what her schedule is, I can get that Filipina here from uh, living in South Korea. So, uh, I'm going to shoot for maybe a night live stream in Korea. Huh? So, it might be um, like morning time for you guys in the United States. So, that would be the ideal time. So, you guys don't have to like get tired at, for the guys on the East Coast. <laughs> Such a side of a bus. Actually, the one that might give me a shock is the Keist one. The bus for the campus, that might give me a shock. Because <laughs> that's all, you know, electric powered. <laughs> I don't know about these Hyundais. <laughs> so, we'll have to see how that one goes. So, but yeah, this was a fun uh, trip. Uh, got a chance to see more of Keist. Uh, might have to, might have to do a part two of this and then find another trail or go to another campus so I still have a few more places to go before it starts getting extremely cold here okay all right I thought I blinked but the bus is coming all right yeah yeah no you get run over yeah in Korea I agree with Thomas all right all right so ladies and gentlemen thank you uh, for joining me at this tour at Kais University so thank you for hanging out. So I will uh, see you in a couple days and I will be doing the Dodger watch party. And then um, I'll be trying to get another live stream at night. So take care and stay safe and I will see you guys again. So good night. See ya. Bye.